So frequently asked questions on the employability test. The first question that we generally get is, I am somewhere away, I am not there in, the, in Bangalore, I will not be able to come all the way till Bangalore to take up the test. In that case, you can call us on the numbers given below and take up a small quick counselling session. But if you really want to plan your career in the right direction, then we recommend you have to take out one day of your life and I am sure it is worth because after all planning is everything. If you plan at right time then only you will be able to reach where you want to reach because until and unless you have clarity about the destination where you want to reach, you will not be able to reach there if you are confused state of mind. If it is highly impossible for you to come to Bangalore then you can take a short call with our team and have a short counselling session. But if you want to know your exact score then you will have to come to the Bangalore branch office, spend one whole day with us to know anything and everything related to the goal that you want to achieve in civil engineering line. And our civil engineering expert coaches will give you a foolproof solution and a complete hand holding to start your career in right direction. The second frequently asked question is how exactly you will be testing my current skills? So we have certain tests which will identify your passions, which will identify your personality type. It's very important that you understand your type. If you know what kind of person you are, what kind of environment you are comfortable with. For example, some people are, some people work are process people. Process people means some people where before starting anything, they need all the facts, figures and everything. They like to plan things in advance in a very proper way and then start something. The another kind of people are the action ones who do not really do too much of planning but they just jump into it once they know that yes this is something for me. They just start the work immediately. They are the kind of people who need everything like this. I want it right away and they are the people who take actions before doing long planning or something like that. The another type of people are the idea people who get lot of ideas but sometimes they lack, if they lack in the process or if they lack in planning then they keep wandering from one idea to another idea. So if you know your personality type you will know where you are deficit and where you need to improve. The another kind of a personality is a people person, somebody who always believes that people first everything else later. So once you know your personality type, it will be very easy for you to plan your career in such a way that it will suit your style of working. Identifying this personality type is very important to know which style of working will suit you. So there are certain tests which we will first take to identify your real passion, your real interest and your real personality. Once you, we know this, we go to the next level which is a technical test. Now don't be scared of this test. This test is not something that we are showing someone and giving you some marks like school or college like it happens in college or school. This is not that kind of a test. This is a self assessment to know where you are. For example, if you are a complete fresher but you're, you know that you have passion for structures. So we will first counsel you on what is structural design engineer's job, what are his responsibilities, what is the industry expecting for from a structural design engineer? What are the packages that you should know? For example, as a fresher you might know any one structural design engineering software like StatPro or ETAPS or you may know one or two softwares. But we will tell you what is the complete package that you should know so that you are a complete package and an asset for any employer. Wherever you go for job, in today's world, employers are expecting you to be a complete package. Who can start the project, drive the team and who is a delivery man, who can deliver the project from start to end. So we will give you complete knowledge about what is the expectation of the industry, where you stand now. Once you know where you stand, where you want to go, you will know how to complete your journey from where you are today and where you want to go tomorrow. So these tests will be uh, either objective type, descriptive type or certain kind of interviews, technical interviews would be taken to test your fundamentals, basics and the high level of knowledge in that particular field. 
Now we may test you if you want to start your career in building information modeling again the test is same it will start with the counseling what is BIM why BIM what are the life cycle of a BIM engineer how a BIM engineer's career starts what is the salary graph how he grows in his throughout his career and all these things will be told to you once you know that we will start with the objective type or descriptive type test followed by a technical interview and we will give you a exact clarity upon where you start in this similarly if you want to start career in project management the same kind of process will go on to tell you how you to start career in project management if you want to start career in tendering estimation and contracts management then also will give you a complete guidance about it and we will also refer you we will give you complete guidance about that if there are any other sub fields of civil engineering where you aspire to start your career then you can ask our expert coaches they will tell you the latest industry trends and they will tell you how to achieve that the next frequently asked question is how many hours do i have to spend for getting my technical score so the whole process is minimum 8 hours in our bangalore branch office you have to come here with an prior appointment there is a link on our website you have to click on that fill the form make a call in our office and fix up your appointment once you fix the appointment you have to come to bangalore spend 8 hours and you will get your score by the end of the day itself along with complete counseling and if you need some more hand holding we will also give you that the next frequently asked questions for the employability test is how much this one day program would cost me so the good news is this is absolutely free this initiative has been taken by eConstruct after doing a survey with, with civil engineers from across pan india and abroad we have identified especially the freshers or people with intermediate experience of two years to four years when they are very confused sometimes they come up in a situation they feel it's a dead end i'm not happy with my current work but i'm just doing it so if you're not happy with your work then it's not going to work out for a long time for you it will not give you the kind of growth you should have in your career hence if you are already working somewhere but you do not really love the kind of experience you are getting then you should definitely take a one day off come to us and identify what best can be done to make your career your passion and your first love because as i have already mentioned if you don't love your work it's not going to work out and as somebody has rightly said if you love your job then you don't have to work a single day in your life so we we would be working on the same concept you're a fresher or a working professional or highly experienced professional then in all the cases our personal civil engineering coaches will help you another frequently asked question is what is the main outcome of the employability test the main outcome is simple you will know where you stand where you want to go and how you will go another advantage or the outcome is if you have your portfolio or the resume we are going to evaluate and give you inputs about how your resume or portfolio is because if you are looking for some kind of a job or even if you are going somewhere as a, you are starting your entrepreneurship journey then you would be showing your portfolio to the clients so how you look in your portfolio matters we are going to work on this one aspect because we believe even if you want to get a job or get a get a project from a client in both the cases it ma your shortlisting happens right from the time you share your portfolio for freshers getting a job is a process and the whole process will start with your shortlisting of the resume in your hr's inbox so if you do not have the right kind of uh, subject line and the matter in your email and the covering letter in the email and the portfolio or the resume then you may not even get shortlisted even though you may have lot of technical skills so shortlisting actually happens in the inbox of the hr this is the aspect some of you might have missed out so we will tell you what is your current score how you portray yourself in front of the employer how the employer will see you by looking at your covering letter subject line that you give and your resume or the portfolio so this is the major advantage which will give you complete outcome on not only technical skill sets but the non technical skill sets which are expected by the industry 
So this is the main advantage of coming to our office and taking up this employability test. The next frequently asked question is the accommodation. Some of you might be coming from out of station. So you can come with your luggage to our office and our driver, we would give you a driver and a company car who will take you to the nearby paying guest accommodations or the hotel rooms. He will show you different places or before coming we can share a presentation with you which has numbers of all the paying guest accommodations and the hotels which are nearby, which are at a walkable distance. So you can fix up your accommodation somewhere very near to the office so that commuting will not be a problem, you will not waste your time in travelling. And uh, the accommodation will cost you quite less if it's a PG which is a paying guest sharing accommodation it will just cost you 500 rupees per day. Or if you're staying in a hotel then it ranges from 1000 rupees to 5000 rupees per day. Depending on your convenience you can choose the room and the hotel nearby to our office. Next frequently asked question is what kind of documents I should bring while coming there. So the first thing we prefer your resume which should be an updated one. Please make sure you write each and every small detail in that. If you have done any small project or big project or any small or big achievement, do not forget to mention it. You can bring all your documents with that, the supporting document for example, if you have done certain projects in some companies for a certain period of time, you should also consider bringing the experience letter, promotion letter or appreciation letters. Not only this, you should also bring your photo. And apart from this, you can bring your laptop. If you have certain projects that you have done, you can show us your projects or whatever technical work you would have done. Whatever softwares you know, you can give a small demo on it. This demo is just 15 to 20 minutes of demo. You have to give a small presentation to our coaches regarding your achievements, what kind of work you know, what kind of work you have done in past, what are the major strengths and weaknesses of yours. You can bring a small PPT presentation which will talk about you, which will tell us in 15 to 20 minutes that what kind of work you have done in past, what are your strengths and weaknesses according to you. This will help us in, eval this will help us in evaluating you in a much better way. Another frequently asked question by a highly experienced professionals who want to start their own entrepreneurship journey, who want to start their own consultancy or want to get a structures license or want to get a contractors license or want to start something on their own or even start a freelancing. They generally ask that how, I, how can I go about it? I am quite confused about how do I start my journey because I have been doing my job from 10 years and I have completely got accustomed to working to the working style as an employee. Now suddenly how do I become an employer? What exactly should I do? For such aspirants, they will have to spend a little more time with us, maybe more than a one day and we will evaluate your current situation and we will try to find out how best you can start, how exactly you can start in a step by step manner to smoothly do the transition from the employee to the employer or from the employee to the entrepreneurship journey. In that case, we will give you a complete plan, not only this but hand holding if required till you achieve your goal. Another frequently asked question by a experienced people, those who have 3 years to 5 years of work experience. They generally want to know that if I get a very good employability score. For example, if your employability test and score says that you are already doing well, you already have very good portfolio and a relevant experience for the industry. In that case, whether eConstruct will refer me to some of the institutions or to some of the organizations in India or abroad for getting a kind of job I am looking for, then the answer is yes. If you get a very good employability score, then we would refer you in our circle for getting a higher level of job positions in any of the other companies that we know. Another frequently asked question is, what one suggestion would you give me to take my career to the next level? Then we would say you should constantly work on making your good better and making your better best. This is the only mantra given by our coaches. So this is all about the frequently asked questions on the employability test. So what are you waiting for? Pack your bags, come to Bangalore office and take your career to the next level. Thank you very much.